Here we go guys, I just wanted to show you my micro hydro generator in action down here at my brook. It's just a little stream here I own. Well, I don't own it, it's on my property. About 250 feet of it. I think it drops probably six, seven, or eight feet. And here I just have a three inch pipe coming out of a little makeshift dam. The generator itself is an other power generator that I built. I took the wires out of a bunch of old scrap motors I had, all different sizes. The smaller ones I doubled up and ran them parallel. I made nine coils, about 60, 65 turns each. I got 24 magnets. The magnet rotor is made from two 14 inch diamond blades from a demolition saw. The water wheel is made from a bicycle rim with just a bunch of PVC pieces screwed to it. Uh, the whole thing is actually built on a bicycle frame. I've got a chain drive. I'm not sure what the gear reduction is. I just used whatever I had. This is all built from stuff that I had right in my shop. The only thing I bought was the magnet. I'll try to get down a little closer so you guys can get a better view of it. Here's my amp gauge. Putting out about four, four volts. I could very easily triple that, I think. Like I said, this is just a little water wheel made from PVC pipe. Really shoddy setup, but I was just anxious to get it out here and get it turning. Basically, I have to turn it about three times faster than it's going now, which I think I can do if I spend a little bit of time on it. Here's a little close-up of the water wheel. Try to slow it down. It's just very shoddy setup here. Like I said, I just wanted to get going. Each one of these pipes, it was a half a pipe. I just started cutting it up, used whatever I had, like I said. Here's the generator itself. A little wobbly, but most things I build are a little wobbly, so it doesn't seem to bother it too much. It's going pretty good. I just set it in the brook here. Sooner or later I'll get a better setup. It's really fun to work on this type of stuff. Looping around. Here's the chain drive. That sprocket. This is this generator is actually going through where the cranks used to be. The sprocket here was on the rear wheel of the bicycle. Kind of getting upside down on you here now. This rim just has a piece of plywood screwed to it with the front rocket from the bicycle screwed to that. It's working all right. I'll put some more time and effort into it. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll check that meter one more time. generator is actually wired for 24 volts. I wanted it that way because I knew I wasn't going to get many RPM. Let me crank it up a little bit here by hand. I'm just turning the generator with my finger here.